support crew welcome back to my channel it's me your girl Courtney Janine and I'm back with another video if this is your first time watch me don't forget to subscribe down below join the family let's get to 400 subscribers you guys we can do it even if this isn't your first time and you're not subscribed sis what are you doing join the family it's lit over here. If you're already a part of the Corker family, welcome back, sis. It's good to see ya. Let's get into today's video. For today's video, I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of new makeup. A lot of brands have been coming out with some good, like some really either innovative or just new brands in general. So I have a bunch it's from Sephora. I went there today. Two dead anyway got a few things first things first of course i'm gonna start and prime my face to do so you guys know when i am doing my makeup i like to prime two times <laughs> i don't know let me know down below if you do this too but i love um just priming twice so i'm gonna go in first with my pro filter instant retouch primer by fenty beauty um I love this stuff. It's very like moisturizing. It's kind of like a moisturizer, honestly. I just feel like it's just, it makes my skin really smooth. So that's why I like this. And then I go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I definitely wanted to go in with this today because I am going to be using their Makeup Refresh and Setting Spray. So I want to give it like a fair shot. Now it's time to try this. It said on the thing to shake to activate. So as you saw before, it was like separated with the green and the blue. And when you shake it, it kind of becomes one color. So I'm going to do that before spraying it on my face. Mm. No scent, which I feel like a lot of people will appreciate. Um, and it's very cooling and refreshing. Like I said, no scent, which I'm, I kind of miss because I like to smell. I like how the MAC Fix Plus smells and I like how the um, Smashbox Primer Water smells, but this has no smell to it. The mist, the mist is not like a really fine mist. If you have the Fenty Beauty, like what it do, makeup refreshing spray, I feel like that's a really fine mist. But this is just like your classic like sprayer, no smell, which I feel like is really distinct because i feel like all the makeup sprays that i've had have had like a scent to it um and i'm not sure if it's the um setting spray or if it's the hydro grip primer or if it's both together but i do feel like a little bit of tackiness to my skin right now which i appreciate honestly i like it but like i've never not liked a spray honestly i don't think so so yeah, so those are my initial thoughts on that. Now I'm about to go into the brows. I'm really excited to use the my first product from Rare Beauty, but I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer so we can attack these brows together and you can see how it really applies. Okay, I think we're up close and personal enough. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in with my um, Fenty Beauty Brow MVP just so I can like mold and shape my brows into the shape that I kinda want before I start um, filling them in. Now it's time to go in with the Brow Harmony Deep Brow Harmony Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. It looks like this. Hopefully it will. Okay, so now it kind of. So this is what it looks like, you guys. This is the gel side. So you guys can kind of see. So that one, that side is a twist while this side is just like a pull. And this is the pencil side. So you guys can see how it's kind of thick, which is interesting. But I do want to note that obviously you saw the two sides and that means it has no spoolie. But anyway, let's try to go in and fill in our brows. Honestly, to be fair, I feel like this is like the product that everyone kind of like was like, every single review, I feel like people were said that they could have done without this product. And I still wanted to try it because I was like, everyone kept on saying how pigmented it was. And I was like, okay, I like pigment. 
but I don't think the problem is the products. I feel like it's the shape of the products. So the fact that this has like a really like, it's a really bulky type of brow pencil. It's hard to kind of even shape your brow with this product. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go in with my brow pencil from Benefit and just kind of like outline. I feel like I need to outline my brows. This is definitely not the same color as Brow Harmony, but it's okay. But I just feel like it just needs like, I like the type, of, I like the consistency of the product. It's just like the way it's applying is weird because it's so freaking bulky that it's like I can't really make brow like strokes to mimic hairs because of how bulky the freaking brow product is but let's go back in with it i really do like it it's kind of like a jelly like it's kind of like a pomade but not because it's in a stick form which i feel like is weird but i kind of enjoy it and i wish there was a shade in between this deep brown and the black color because i feel like this is like a little too warm for my brows but I can make it work. Okay. I, I like how my brows look. It's weird. I honestly, out of every single brow product that I have tried since the sad news about ColourPop, I feel like this is the closest type of brow that I like to get with my ColourPop, but who knows? It was difficult to work with, but I can, I like the product. Yeah, it's it's really weird. I just don't like the shape of it. I wish it was, I wish it had like a more precise applicator. But I feel, I really do, ooh, but I really do like the product. So you guys can see, it kind of, it gives me that kind of brow that I get with the ColourPop. Now I'm about to go in with the brow gel. I really like that it's just like, you get two type of products in one thing. I really do like that. I haven't been using brow gel recently. Like, I feel like it's been years since I've bought a brow gel. I've just been using mascara, but the brow gel's cool. I think I kind of prefer a clear brow gel, but for what it's worth, it's good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows and we'll be back to apply the foundation. I'm super excited about this, but I don't wanna like take up so much time. So I'm gonna just do this really quickly off camera and I'll be back. Okay, the P is not for power. Ma'am, please, I can't, I can't, I can't. My mother is so freaking funny. Like, what is she talking about? Okay, so I just finished carving out my brows. Honestly, you guys, like, I'm shook. I feel like I just need to get used to the brow products, but it might be one of my favorites, honestly. Um, I like her. Okay, so next thing we're gonna be diving into is the foundation from Rare Beauty. Um, I'm gonna have all the... Um, products listed down below. I don't know the exact prices of everything, but like I said, everything was under $30. Every single product, so that's exciting. Okay, um, hmm, okay, I kind of want to just like test it because I don't, I'm not sure if this is the right shade for me. Um, so I'm kind of just gonna, you know, play it by oh, oh girl, you might have, you might have, you might have. Did something court? Okay, where's my freaking brush? Should I have my brush ready, honey? Should I have my brush ready to go? So let's talk about the texture of the of the um foundation. It's very lightweight. It's very like honestly when I put it on my skin, it felt really oily. Which is supposed to be like a dewy type of foundation, I believe. I think that's a pretty good color match especially when i like this is something that you're gonna like i really just want to like but i feel like that's not sanitary so i'm not going to but it is just it's only my Ooh, did i shake this probably should have
should have shook, shook this a little bit. I just feel like it just looks very like ooey gooey. <laughs> I can't really describe it, but I feel like it just looks like really, and it's really like, it's really lightweight. Like, wow. It just feels like I'm putting oil on my face. That doesn't really sound appealing, but that's how it kind of feels. I like the finish. Okay, it's weird. Like, I can tell that I have something on because I'm looking in the mirror and I can tell that, like, this isn't my skin. But it doesn't feel like I have anything on. So, like I said, this foundation, like... Mm, I don't know how I feel. I feel like I don't have anything on my face. I don't like the texture of it though. Like it was really weird when I was putting it on my hand. It just felt like... It just felt like oil, which I feel like is really like, that's really weird. Um, and it's really sheer. So if you're not a sheer girl, if you like coverage, this is not the foundation for you but if you like like especially i feel like because i'm gonna do my regular kind of base routine now i feel like it's gonna be okay because if i'm like caking on the concealer and stuff the foundation's like doesn't matter if i don't have like a full coverage foundation gives me the feel of a tinted moisturizer but foundation colors for every type of skin tone because she has 48 shades um because i feel like with tinted moisturizer sometimes it's hard for you to kind of like find your shade because they they try to put like 10 shade 10 shades in like one shade of a tinted moisturizer it's super weird i don't know why they feel like foundation should be every skin color but tinted moisturizer is not it's really weird but that's neither here nor there. If you do not have like a lightweight type of um, foundation, I feel like you'll definitely like this, especially for, I feel like since we're going into those cooler months, especially for me who has a more drier skin texture, I'm going to want something that's like dewy for those drier months. So I feel like this will come in handy. I'm gonna speed through this like base makeup because I feel like you guys have a whole everyday makeup routine type of video. So you guys could go check that out if you want to. Um, but I'm gonna speed through this because we wanna test out the new makeup. We don't really wanna dwell on old stuff. But I'm gonna spray my face again with this Hydro Grip. Mm. Okay guys, so I just finished like my face um, pretty much. I need to go back to the eyes for like liner and lashes, but I thought that this would be the perfect time to go in with my blush from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Joy. Um, I did already powder, so I'm kind of scared. Um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do this before. Oh my gosh, it's really pigmented. I think what I'm going to do is go in with a beauty blender how are you supposed to? i'm gonna just spray my face a little bit <laughs> with the milk hydro grip i'm gonna just like dab this onto my skin and then like blend it out with a beauty blender i think i'm just gonna go like right here oh it's bright it's bright it's bright y'all think it's for me <laughs> i don't think it's for oh chat sorry maybe that's my least favorite or maybe i feel like i would wear that maybe on a day when i'm not wearing makeup but then again i'm just like i'm really not that type of girl to like wear like i'm zero or a hundred like it's either no makeup or it's full on Courtney Janine you know what I'm saying I like it but I feel like maybe this is like their dewy version so maybe if I got their matte it would have been a little bit more I don't know dried down it's cute I I don't think I 
Like I'm really not that type of natural girl. I'm gonna go in with the Coral Obsessions and just add on a little bit more blush. Let's go in with the uh, Thrilling Lipstick. I'm gonna kind of like use this to line my lips. I'm gonna go in with the Thankful Lipstick. The lip balm. Ooh. Okay, you guys, and this is the final look. And now I'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts on all the products that I used today. So first things first is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. It looks like this. Honestly, you guys, it gets two thumbs up for me. I definitely recommend it. Um, I enjoyed using it. I first like superficial stuff I really like the packaging and the way that like you can literally tell these two products go together like if you get the primer you should also get the setting spray because they just like they're so unison also I really like the color of the spray um, and how like you can definitely tell that you need to shake it because there's like a blue side and there's a green side and it should be all one color when you go to spray your face um, second thing I really like is that it is unscented so it doesn't have any fragrance to it um which i feel like has been a really hot topic not only in the beauty community but also in the skincare community and how like um people do not like scented products i don't mind it but that is a good plus and a bonus for people who don't like scents you can definitely go ahead and grab this because i've noticed that a lot of the setting sprays that i've used always have a smell to this but smell to them but this one does not have a smell at all so you're good to go on that i really appreciated the fact that it kind of like after i primed with this and also like sprayed my face before going in with my foundation i really liked how it just had that like tackiness to it that makes you feel like okay it's setting it's not only setting but it's also prepping because it's going to be the perfect type of spray that allows your um makeup to stick to your skin so i really did like that and i just liked how it made my skin feel after using it it really just felt um refreshed the last and final thing that i really liked about the spray is the type of mist i know some people really like a fine mist similar to the huda beauty glow cocoa hydrating mist but um sometimes when i'm using these really fine misters it's kind of hard for me to tell like did anything actually get on my spray like did anything actually get on my face because it's so freaking like fine but this it's like a regular spray so you can like tell that okay i'm drenching my face like i like a lot of spray obviously you guys i spray almost i spray almost every single time i do a different step like i'm always spraying my face so i like that a lot so this gets two thumbs up for me and you guys should definitely check it out i don't feel like it's legendary but i feel like it's a good spray what's the next product i use oh the brow okay the rare beauty brow harmony um pencil and gel i really liked it like you guys will see in the well you have already seen like when i was applying it i felt like it was a bit tricky just because of the shape of the product like it's just a really thick type of applicator i really enjoy this product i just feel like the way the brow pencil is kind of shaped it's just hard for you to get precise um strokes when you're trying to fill in your brows i feel like maybe it's a seven because i know that i'm gonna use it and i'm probably gonna pick it up um again just because of the fact that like it's the closest thing that i have to my ColourPop precision pencil like the formula and like the pigmentation of it it's really pigmented um but the applicator it just will probably take me a couple of tries to kind of like get to feel for it but i really like this product if you like the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil, you might like this. Um, so yeah, that's that on that. The foundation. Hmm. <laughs> um, my thoughts on the foundation. Honestly, I like the foundation. I feel like I did a pretty good color match. Um, I used my Huda Beauty color to like kind of shade match, and I got 430 W. Um, it's weird. Like, even right now, I feel like I have makeup on, but I don't. Like, I can see that I have makeup on, but it literally feels like skin. It feels like I, it's very lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on. Um, and honestly, I probably, to give, like, the get the full Rare Beauty experience, I probably will need to go back and get the primer and the concealer to kind of, like, give it a fair chance. Um, for now, though, I do, I feel like it's a good foundation. It's more like a tinted moisturizer to me. 
um, but just a little bit more coverage because it's very lightweight. It's very skin like it's very your skin but better type of foundation um and i feel like that's the kind of vibe that you get from Bare, rare beauty as a whole it's not trying to like give you that high coverage high coverage instead it's trying to give you like your skin but better like glossier type of type of um deal this type of foundation every girl needs i'm not saying that you definitely need to go got go out and get a rare beauty but i feel like every girl kind of needs like a skin like foundation a um very lightweight like for those days where you want to wear makeup but you don't really want a full cakey cakey face you will want this now for me i'm more of a like i said i'm a zero to 100 i'm either wearing no makeup or i'm wearing a lot of makeup and where i'm wearing a lot of makeup i want to be caked up like i want it to feel like you know i'm not me you know what i'm saying so i would go for like my huda beauty like it's very full coverage I know that I have makeup on when I'm wearing this. What else did I try? What did I try? Oh, I tried the blush next. <sighs> it's the way I had really high hopes for this blush. Like, I don't know what I was envisioning. Honestly, I'm not a cream product girl. I'm not a liquid girl. I'm only a liquid when it comes to my foundation. Like, I want something like, I, I like powder. So, I don't think I'm a fair person for this but i feel like it's very pigmented i probably will still use it more for i don't know when i would use this like i would say for my no makeup makeup looks but when i'm even when i'm doing a no makeup makeup look like i said i'm a zero to 100 girl so i say no makeup but it looks like i have makeup on you know what i'm saying so um this will probably be included in my no makeup like my real no makeup dates where i'm just like oh brow wax you know what i'm saying brow wax mascara and maybe a little blush um that's what i kind of view this as again your skin but better it's like i don't know i really don't know i i probably should have watched like how selena goes through with this because it's just like when like in my mind like my mind is like think of like jimmy neutron where they show like his brain like in my mind it's like when am i supposed to use liquid blush because you're not supposed to mix liquid with powder and i feel like maybe that's where i got it like confused i don't know i'm not a fan of liquid um this liquid blush but i feel like i'm not a fan of liquid blushes in general so i'm not gonna hold it against rare beauty like i said probably perfect for when i'm wearing no makeup just want a little flush of color i might go grab that i don't know when that will be but i will go grab that this matte lipstick from rare beauty and i got it in the shade thrilling i used it as a lip liner today and all in all i really like it it's again for those no makeup makeup days i feel like um it's not matte to me but i don't want to hold that against that i don't want to hold it against the product because i did go in with a gloss no like a lip balm their lip balm after it so that's probably why it doesn't look really matte it's looking very satiny finish but the color was really good i did have to like kind of build it up um so yeah that's my thoughts on this i again i feel like nothing is really like you need to get it again with the um balm it's nice i feel like it's really cute it it feel good it feels good it's good for like when i'm just running out the house and just need something my favorite definitely the spray i just love a good setting spray so definitely the milk makeup spray secondly even though i have my qualms with it i feel like this is one of the few products that i will actually use a lot of like this brow harmony i will use this and lastly the foundation just because i know in my collection i don't have something like this so i will be using this a lot and that's it for this review of rare beauty and also milk makeup's hydro grip set and refresh spray what is your most recent makeup purchase let me know down below and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys